Good evening, everybody. You're looking live here with Bear River Live, another one here. And we come to you live from Mount Crest High School, the Lynn R. Miller Field. The Mustangs not having quite the season they expected to have. Uh, coming into this one with a 1-6. And, and the uh, Bear River Bears still looking for the first region win, but have three wins and four losses here on their record. We can go take a look at the RPI system. How it's shaking out now. Bear River in the 11th spot. And Mountain Crest coming in at number 17th. Skyview still up at the top. Snow Canyon the second. So if the playoffs was to start tonight, Bear River would be hosting Uena. And the winner of that game would play the first round by Skyview Bobcats. Still with a few more games to get all uh, going here for football. So we'll see how it wraps up. We'll take a comparison, uh, look at both of these teams here for you. Passing with the Mount Crest, just a little bit above Bear River, but the rushing is uh, totally different. Mountain Crest with 676 rushing yards, total rushing yards, and the Bears with 1,300. Zach's about the same, an average yards per game. Bear River pushing about 300. Oh, and the Mustangs. Just to get a little over 200. Again, we'd like to thank you for joining us and like to thank our sponsors as well for making this possible. We'd like to thank the UHSAA for letting this season happen here for these kids. Everybody masked up here at Mountain Crest High School, ready for some football as we have the coin toss. And it looks like Mountain Crest will kick. The Bear River Bears offense will be out first. Back to the game tonight will be number two, Easton Lish. We haven't seen him for a long time after a shoulder injury. Hunter Hammer getting us going here for the Mustangs and a Bear River football. Again, thanks for joining us and a big thanks to our sponsors for making this possible. One hop, Kierstead will fill it about the 25 and take it inside the 30. It looks like they'll put it at the 32 and that's where the Bears will start over. And they're led by Josh Payne. We'll take a look at his numbers, what he's done so far here on the season. Looks like he's 45 of 81, 534 yards, five touchdowns, and two interceptions, but you kind of wipe one away as a Hail Mary pass last week. And the Bears lost to Green Canyon. Bears will start out with one wide out up top, one at the bottom. Chance UD in motion, paint under center. Fakes a half, fakes a pass, or a handoff over to Case Jones, and UD gets on to Mountain Crest territory before he's taken down. We'll get this CNR replay for you. Again with a fake handoff over to Jones, and a dump over to Chance UD. Utah rips off a big gain there for the Bears, giving a fresh set of downs in Mustang territory. They set up shop now at the 44. And 
again with another pass, and this is going to be a good catch if he stays in bounds. And he's is out of bounds. Again, going to number two, Easton Lish. Again, coming back off the shoulder injury. Glad to have him back. Case Jones all alone in the backfield. There's a handoff up middle. And the Mustangs ready for him. Third and ten here for the Berber Bears. They look to think Kansas Market gets stocked up with the case. Lot sales going on now this weekend here at Kansas Market. Your one stop shop. Two wideouts down at the bottom, one at the top. A little pistol look here from the Bears and a flag is going to stop this one. And a false start on the Bears. That'll back him up even more. Still third down. So now ball about the 50. Still same formation. Looking like a pass play here. And around the end. And Payne's going to go down at about the 40-yard line. We'll make forward progression, and it'll put him at the 43, 42. And the Bears, after a good throw and catch from Chance Judy, they're going to stall out. And the punt team coming on here for the Bears. Now you can go get your rip and dip on all week long here at the Pied Up, and even on Saturday. They'll be open till noon, I think. And it's almost time for the Bartiel Steakhouse and a flag coming in from the other side of the field. And we'll get the call here. Right. Too many men on the field here for the Mustangs. They'll push the ball up a little bit further. And still fourth down. Bears ready to kick. And return a little bit. They return it to just inside the 25. Terrell Lee with the carry and Callister with the tackle here for the Bears. So they put the ball on the 26 yard line here for the Mustangs. Mustangs will start out in shotgun with two wideouts, or three wideouts, excuse me, up at the top of your screen. One down to the bottom, rolling around the left. Here's the throw, and it's caught wide open. Just shy of the 40 yard line. That'll give a first down here for the Mustangs. Lopez with the catch, giving the Mustangs a fresh set of downs. Now we go under center this time. Two wide outs, one at the bottom, one at the top, and an eye formation. There's a handoff up middle. And it's going to get tripped up. Oswald with the carry. Short gain, if anything. Looks like they're going to give him no gain. Looks like he got tripped up behind the line before he... Good get going on that one. So it'll bring up second down here for the Mustangs. Hey, looking to retire, looking to invest. Lincoln Financial is where you got to go. Talk to our friend Hootie Roach. We'll get you set up there at Lincoln Financial. Get you set up on a plan that works for you. Benton gets it away. 
Has to go down to his knees for that catch. Vader, or v Vader, excuse me. Makes the catch and takes it out of bounds just shy of the line to gain. So it'll be third and one. No, they're going to say he got it. So they're going to move the chains. Another fresh set of downs here for the Mustangs. Looking their way down the field. Eight minutes left to go here in the first. And I'd like to thank CNR Trailer Sales for being our replay sponsor, not just for Bear for Football, but also Lady Bears Volleyball and Lady Bears Soccer. Mustangs hand it off up middle. That's a good push by Oswald. That'll get him um, four yards. So it'll bring up second and six here for the Mustangs. Oswald comes into this one with 280 yards on 61 carries here for the Mustangs. Benson pitches it off, far side. Oswald's going to get wrapped up by the Bears defense with no gain. So that'll bring up third and ten. Or excuse me. Yeah, third back to third and ten for the tackle for a loss. Hey, you got a job, you want to do it the best you can. Greer's do the best hardware you gotta go. Talk to Tom Greer and his team. Get you hooked up with the supplies you need and also a little bit of knowledge. Shotgun, Benson gonna roll to the right, still looking for somebody to the sideline. And it's gonna be a catch. And let's see where they stop. And it'll be about the 45. Lopez with the catch. Lopez coming in this one with 50 yards and receiving on eight catches. It's not enough for a first down, so it'll be fourth and about five here for the Mustangs. Punt team looks like they're coming on. Here's a low kick. But it's going to take a mountain crest bounce all the way inside the 10, out of the 5, and that's where it'll stop rolling. Bears River got a lot of real estate to make up here on this drive. Speaking of real estate, if you got a mortgage you need to deal with, Academy Mortgage is where you got to go, even for a refinance. They can get you hooked up there at Academy Mortgage. And I'd like to thank Soda Fix. You can always go get your fix at Soda Fix. They sponsor our player of the game. The Bears come out with three wideouts. Everybody at the bottom. Payne under center. And off over to Jones. He's going to get a few yards on that one. It'll bring up a second down here for the Bears. First break, huddle. Just under five minutes left to go here in the first quarter. There's a snap, and there's going to be a handoff. And Jones is dragging everybody with him. Let's see where they mark it, if he's going to give it to him. And I think he did get the first down over there on the far side. There they going to move the chains. First set of downs and a CNR replay here for Case Jones and the Bear River Bears. Hey, we'd like to thank Utah State University, both the Brigham City and Tremont campuses for being a great sponsor here for Bear River Athletics and Bear River Live. Paint will start up under center. 
Here's a pitch over to Jones. Two guys miss, and he's going to be good five-yard gain here for Jones and another replay. We should take a little CNR replay. Another drive here by Jones. This time they're down on the left side, making a couple guys miss. And yard after catch for this kid is incredible. Hey, we'd like to thank Chanshare Farms for being a great sponsor. Want to green grass in the spring? Lay it down right now. You don't have to worry about watering too much. Should be ready to mow come springtime. Three wideouts down at the bottom of your screen. Payne, and it's going to get taken down. Second sack here for the Mustangs here in this one. We'll back the Bears up. Bringing them up a third and long. Looks like third and 15 now here for the Bears. Same formation as last time here for the Bears. Bain with the delayed handoff to Jones with the Mustangs all over that one. And a fourth down here for the Bears. Yeah, we'd like to thank Tinkwood Studios. They sponsor your halftime performances when at home. A lot of things to go on out there. Daughter enjoyed a little mommy and me time there this morning. Singing, tumbling, and dancing, any age group. And a punt that goes high and a fair catch called. Kind of a weak kick. Terrell Lee fair catches it at about the 41-yard line, and the Mustangs kind of picking up where they left off, about the same field position. They got 159 left to go here in the first. I like to, we'd like to thank the Teal Mill for being a great sponsor. They're putting these games in the bag for us. Totes of all sizes. Tumblers, hats, beanies. Because it's getting about that time. Hit them up at thetealmill.com or find them on Facebook. A loft house will run this in and maybe give him two yards here on that one. Now another quarterback in here for the Mustangs, Zeb Benson. Benson going to look, and he's going to throw, and overthrown. There goes a complete. We'd like to thank Farm Bureau Insurance for being a great sponsor here for Bearver Athletics. Cody Reese and Gordon Knudsen. Great people to have on your side if you need them. For insurance at Farm Bureau Insurance. I'll stop the clock at 114 here in the first. Third and eight. They bring out three wideouts at the bottom of your screen. One up at the top. Benson looking to throw all the way to the right, and a diving catch is made. Lopez will make the catch. Here for the Mustangs, get him a fresh set of downs, and the Bears defense unable to hold him off on third down. I got to get one more playoff here before this quarter's over. Still scoreless. Mm -hmm. 
Benson under center, eye formation. And uh, up middle, Veter not going to go anywhere. Darian Johnson with the tackle along with Case Jones. They're going to give him a yard on that one. Emilio Veter comes into this one with 242 total yards on 32 carries. He averages about seven and a half, and that's going to do it here in the first. This team's going to make it to the sidelines. Still scoreless. We'll switch sides and take a commercial break, and we'll be back for quarter number two. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today. In the mood for a burger and fries? Look no further than the grill. They have plenty of mouth-watering options for everyone. Stop by for lunch or dinner and complete the meal with a tasty dessert. Welcome back to Mount Crest High School, second and nine at the start of the second quarter. Benson under center. Here's a pitch. Coming to the near side, gonna be chased out of bounds by Jepson. Good for a couple, it'll be third down and eight here for the Mustangs. Hey, keeping you in the know what's going on in the Valley is the Valley Headliner, brvnews.com is where you got to go. Find out what's going on. You had a fire out West Liberty this morning. Catch all the details on that at brvnews.com. I'd like to thank Old West Game Processing for their contributions here to Bever Athletics and Bever Live. Benson is shotgun, three wideouts up at the top of your screen, one at the bottom. Benson looking right all the way and what a tackle by Case Jones. But a good catch as well to hold on to that one. We'll take a CNR replay look at that one as it'll be fourth and short for the Mustangs. I'm pretty sure they're going to go for it. Big fourth down here for the Mustangs, fourth and one. Ten and a half minutes left to go here before halftime. High formation, Benson under center. Hand off, and Christensen's right there for the tackle. No, oh, that's 57, excuse me. So the Bears will take over after a great tackle. They mark the ball about the 19-yard line here for the Bears. 10 minutes, 20 seconds left to go here in the second quarter. Payne under center. He'll keep it. Now he'll pitch it over to Udy, and that's going to be a loss of three, maybe two. We'll call it a loss of two. A good defensive play for the Mustangs. Second and 12 here for the Bears today. Bray Cuddle, one wide out. There's some marble at the bottom of your screen. The other wide out runs up to the top. Two wide or two running backs in the backfield, and Payne's going to keep it this time instead of pitching it. Get some of them yards back plus one. 
That'll bring up third and nine here for the Bears. Hey, we'd like to thank Caldwell Banker, Two Guy Realtor, for being a great sponsor for Bear River Athletics. Giving them 100 bucks for every home touchdown. Up to 1,300. We'll be home next week. Taking on the number one ranked Skyview Bobcats. We'll have that one for you if you can't make it out to that game. Paint under center. Rolls out to his left. Good look at a pass. There's a throw across the middle. And trying to go to Lish on the far side, and a leak flag comes out. We'll get the call momentarily. The sideline warning going against the Bears. So that'll bring up fourth down. Bears still unable to move the ball. And I'll have to punt it away here with 8.45 left to go here in this second quarter. Hey, it's going to be about that time for dinner in the grill. is a great spot to get a dine-in or takeout. And great food there at the grill. Here's a good punt. Lopez. Pushes it back to the bare side of the field and still going. Gets inside almost to the 35. So the so with the Mustangs again getting good field position already in Bear River territory and about that 35 yard line. They ball marked the ball at the 36. Mustangs will bring three wideouts at the bottom of your screen. One up top at Benson and Shotgun. Benson is running out of time and chance. Udy with a sack. Gonna see in our replay a chance. Udy just busting through the field. Or through the line, excuse me. We'll take another look at that one. Right up the middle, the delayed blitz. Gets Zeb running back and a huge loss for the Mustangs. After having good field position, that's not what you want to start out like if you're a Mustang fan. Get you back on the Mountain Crest side of the ball. Or side of the field. Three wide outs. Bottom of the screen. One at the top. Same formation. Benson. Quick slant gets caught and drugged down by the Bears defense. Jackson with the catch. Here for the Mustangs. He's a leading receiver here for the Mustangs. Coming into this one with 311 yards on 15 receptions. Same formation here for the Mustangs. Benson looks left all the way. Now he goes to the middle of the field and incomplete overthrow in Lopez. Good coverage that time by the Bears, bringing up fourth down. That'll stop the clock at 7.02 left to go. Here in the first half, still scoreless. As both offense is not getting much done here in this one. The punt gets away cleanly over to the far side of the field. It's going to take a bounce. 
It looked like the Mustangs touched it clear at the 10. We'll take a look at the CNR replay, see where the refs actually marked this one. As, a, as it did hit the Mustang player. But the, Bear, but the Bears going to get the ball. Oh, I'm going to put the ball down. They're still kind of talking about it. And they put the ball down. Oh, uh, penalty goes against the Mustang. Sorry about not capturing that for you. Big penalty. It'll bring up first and ten here for the Bears after the punt. And penalty. They start at the 25. Pain under center, handoff. Face Jones. Gets past one defender, as always, and down. After a good gain, it looks like a gain of six. And that'll be a second down there for the Bears. Under six and a half minutes now left to go here in the second quarter. Payne in the center. Delayed handoff again to Case Jones, and he's going to get spun down this time. Nicholas Nielsen with a great tackle here for the Mustangs. You don't usually see that. Getting tackled by one guy is Case Jones. Third and six for the Bears. They're being painted shy, got a little pistol look. Two wideouts up at the top of the screen, one at the bottom. A quick pass over to Jones. Trying to stiff arm that guy on the far side. He'll get some of them yards back. But it'll still bring up fourth down here for the Bears. And again, it's a three and out here for the Bears. The clock still rolling. It's first half is going to go by quick. Still scoreless. Five minutes left to go here before halftime. Timeout by the Bears. And that will be... Stopping the clock at 4.58. We'll take a commercial break, and we'll be back. It'll be fourth down here for the Bears when we come back. Reserve the Pine Ups back room for any occasion, day or night. Whether it's for a birthday party, wedding celebration, or your weekly meetings, they've got you covered. There's plenty of room, and if you want, they can cater your special event, or you can simply order off the menu. Welcome back here to Mountain Crest High School. Stopping the clock at 4.58 with that time out from the Bears. It's still 4th and 5, and they're going to fake it. But it's not going to get anywhere close to the line to gain. So a direct snap drives it forward for about a yard, and they needed a lot more than that. So it'll bring first down again around that 35 yard line where the Mustangs will start out again. They put the ball at the 33. Three wideouts down at the bottom of your screen here for the Mustangs. 
Benton and Shigan across the middle of the field, wide open. And a rip down to the turf for the tackle. McBride with the catch. And Case and Byrne with the tackle here for the Bears. Second and four now here for the Mustangs. Under four and a half minutes left to go. Here in the first half, three wideouts go up to the top of your screen. One down at the bottom, still in shotgun. Zeb Benson, Benson. Looks to pass, going to run out of time. Steps in the pocket, there's a flag. We might have a holding call. There's a catch. But this one's going to come back. We'll get the call, and there's your holding call against the Mustangs. So that'll back the Mustangs up and replay the down. So now second down after the Mustangs and the ball on the 42, second and 24. Let's see what it's going to be here for the Mustangs. Got to get to the 23 for a first down. Benson all alone. Two wideouts at the bottom, three up at the top. Everybody going out for a pass. Quick pass, broken up, incomplete. Lopez can't bring in the pass. Derek Dean with the pass coverage. Well, that'll stop the clock at three and a half. Hey, we'd like to thank Andy March for photography. If you got an athlete playing, doesn't matter what sport, give Andy March a call. Go to his website, andymarchinphotography.com. Hit him up. Let him worry about getting your shots so you can sit back and enjoy the game. Same formation as last time. Everybody going out for a pass. Third and 19. Benson looking. Running out of time, and he's finally going to go down for another sack. Payton with a tackle. And a huge loss. Again, assisted by 57. And another huge loss for a tackle. Fourth and forever here for the Mustangs after that sack. Here's a punt. And now Phil at about the 22. Makes a couple of guys miss. Cuts in the middle of the field. Riker Jepson past the 50 and into the 45. They might mark him a little bit, sh mark him a little bit shy than that, and they will. It'll be at the 46. But a great move inside. Riker Jepson with a huge run, getting it into a Mountain Crest territory. Only two and a half minutes left to go here before halftime. See if the Bears can get on the board. Two wideouts up top, one at the bottom. Pistol look here from the Bears. Payne gonna go run out of time. And another sack as this is just back and forth defense versus defense. Offense can't get nothing going. It'll be a second down and a long here for the Bears. Clock running, hitting the two minute mark. Payne and shotgun. Rolls out to his right again. Under pressure, just throws this to the sideline. That'll stop the clock at 
There's a flag. Out of the middle of the field, we get the call momentarily. Could be holding against the Bears, and it is. So that'll back him up even further following the sack. It'll, it'll still stay second down. Another timeout here for the Bears. Still tied at 0 2 2 left to go. We will step aside and be right back. One thing that I think is awesome about USU Brigham is how personal it is. I've loved small classes and I'm shocked how professors have got to know me to be able to save money, have school three minutes away from my house has been awesome. I want to teach high school kids. I want to be involved with their lives and try to help them be the best that they can be. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm Hunter Morgan and I'm an Aggie. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware. Happily serving the community since 1976. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Welcome back here to Mountain Crest High School, still scoreless as we're almost to halftime at the 202 mark. Second and 35 here for the Bears. Payne gets a little bit more time, but still going to go down. This time won't go down for a loss. It'll be for no gain. Bears got to do something to give Payne a little bit more time. Good coverage down the field from the Mustangs. One and a half minutes now, the Bears going to take a lot of time off here. See what they can get back here on this third and 34. Ball spotted at the 30 yard line. They got to get to the 36 on the other side of the field. And a timeout call this time by the Mustangs. Saving some time with one minute and 11 seconds. We'll step aside one more time. And we'll be back for the conclusion of the first half here at Mount Chris High School. Still 0 0. You've guessed it. It's time for our biannual K slot sale here at Kent's going on September 30th to October 6th. Check out these items that are on sale. All of these items are available while supplies last. As always, thank you for shopping here at Kent's Market. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning as well as business benefits. At Lincoln they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. And after a timeout by the Mustangs, we welcome you back here to Mount Crest High School. One minute, 11 seconds. Third down, third and 34 here for the Bears. Payne and Shotgun steps into the pocket. Still got a hold of his foot and he's going to go down again. And another sack here for the Mustangs. Mustangs getting in there with ease. And the Bears backed up even more here for this fourth down. Again, for a first down, you need to get on the other side of the field to the 36. Timeout call by the Mustangs, stopping the clock at 57.2. We'll step aside for a quick commercial break, and this time we'll be back for the conclusion. Don't go anywhere. Even if it's been years since you graduated, your college team is your team for life. Well, you can have a Farm Bureau agent for life, and auto, and home, and business insurance. Imagine that. One insurance agent for everything. It's that simple. So get a Farm Bureau agent for life.
Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company. Welcome back here to Mount Crest High School. Where it's fourth and very long here for the Bears. Mustangs get ready to get the ball back. And scoreboard issue here at Mountain Crest. Fifty seven point two back on the clock. Must have bumped the button. Still fourth down here for the Bears. Scoreless. Wallaby with the punt. And look at the ball roll here in the Bears' favor. They keep fanning it. It's gonna be it's gonna be done rolling They're right there. So it'll be down at about the 36, 37. That's about where they needed to get for a first down. As sack after sack, the holding call. Doesn't even get this offense going here on that last set. 44 seconds. We'll have to go here in the ball game. Now it's the Mountain Crest turn, trying to get points on the board here before halftime. And here's a run here by Lofthouse. They run their version of a Wildcat. Goes up middle, gain a six. It'll be second and four here for the Mustangs. Taking a long time to get this play in as time just keeps ticking away for the Mustangs and they're just gonna leave it. Still 0-0 at halftime here at Mountain Crest High School. We're gonna thank some of our sponsors, round up some stats for you and we'll be back for the second half here at Mount Crest High School. Caldwell Banker has a team of dedicated professionals who handle the complex process and make sure things run smoothly. As a proud sponsor, Caldwell Banker donates $100 to Bear River Athletics for every home game touchdown. Save time and money with Caldwell Banker. If you are selling, give Gary Madsen a call for a free market analysis at 435-257-5089. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham. At Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. Tanglewood Studios has something for everyone, whether it's dance, cheer, color guard, or gymnastics. There's even recreational all boys gymnastics along with Mama Me classes. Enjoy co ed hip hop, classical ballet, point, contemporary, jazz, along with karate and parkour. Tanglewood is a USAG licensed gym offering bars, beam, vault, and a spring floor. Mom and Me and Toddler classes are offered in music, dance, and gymnastics. Tanglewood Tots Preschool includes dance, gymnastics, music, and live sports. Singing classes, guitar, and musical theater are also offered. Family rates are available, so come join the fun. The Till Mill is a local shop that has a wide variety of tumblers, bags, and custom hats. No matter the outing, they have the perfect product for every occasion. This season, the Till Mill is Bear River Lives in the bag sponsor, helping to wrap up the coverage of each game. Check out the Valley Headliner for stories and updates on your favorite Bear River sports, as well as local government and community events. Stay in the know with this digital news company so you don't miss out. The Valley Headliner, striving to become your number one news source. Andy Marchant Photography specializes in portraits, family pictures, bridals, and engagements. He also takes thousands of photos of Bear River Sports, allowing you to sit back and enjoy the game while he captures all the action. Check out his website, 
andymarchant.com or follow him on Instagram. Let him help you preserve your memories at a great price. Do you or someone you love have a birthday coming up? Looking for a fun way to make it special? Then stop by the Pie Dump. They have a delicious cake for you and will even sing you a happy birthday song. College is pretty expensive and concurrent enrollment classes are like five bucks a credit. It's such a good deal. Financially, it's just, it makes sense. It motivates me a lot more to learn more in the class. It's been really cool to be able to not only learn new things, but also receive high school and college credit. It's not just another class that you take in high school. It's actually something that's going to help me in my future. I think that USU is really out to help students get where they want to be in life. That's what's important about a college. pizza? Come to the grill and build your own or try any of their specially made pizzas with flavors for the whole family. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today. You've guessed it, it's time for our biannual case lot sale here at Kent's. Going on September 30th to October 6th. Check out these items that are on sale. All of these items are available while supplies last. As always, thank you for shopping here at Kent's Market. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware. Be sure to check out the wide variety of Milwaukee tools at Greer's. They'll make the perfect addition for your next project. Greer's Hardware, happily serving the community since 1976. Even if it's been years since you graduated, your college team is your team for life. Well, you can have a Farm Bureau agent for life, and auto, and home, and business insurance. Imagine that, one insurance agent for everything. It's that simple. So get a Farm Bureau agent for life. Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Soup's on at the grill Monday through Saturday. With a new tasty soup every day, you can pick up lunch or dinner all week long. Find out which flavor is your favorite by picking up a small bowl for $3.99 or make it a large for $5.99. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care.
The Pie Cup sells more than just hot rolls and donuts. They offer a full breakfast and lunch menu Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 2 p.m. Breakfast is also served on Saturdays from 7 until noon. Try some deliciousness today. I figured at 21 years old I had the world figured out. Then life got real. I had to figure out what to do to provide for my family. She kept throwing out this idea of going back to school and I'm, I'm, I'm too old to go back to school. But you have a campus right here in town that's a mile away. It made it a lot easier. Everything was in the evening and worked around my schedule. I still had a family to take care of and I had some good professors. It was nice to have them understand that and then present their class in a way that recognized it and made it fun to learn again. I'm so proud. I'm proud that he stuck it out. There's many times where he asked me, why am I doing this? But there's a reason and it's changed our world.
Welcome back here to uh, Mountain Crest High School. As a look at them stats, yeah, they those are correct rushing yards for both teams, both in the negative after loss after loss here by the offense. Passing yards, 36 for the Mustangs, 27 for the Bears. Average yards per play, Bears in the negative. Mountain Crest not doing much better. No turnovers. This might come down to one play that makes this game for either team. Again, we like to bring you back here for the third quarter. Again, thank you for joining us and I'd like to thank our sponsors as well for making this possible. Mountain Crest gets the ball first. Is he getting ready to kick it off here for the Bears? And here's the kick, his third quarter is underway. And a huge kick into the end zone. That'll be a touchback. Terrell Leifer catches that one. And the Mustangs will start at the 20. Hey, you got a home project. Want to do it the best way you can? Go to Greer's Do Best Hardware. Tom Greer and his staff will hook you up with the supplies you need to get your job done right. Eric Greer's Do Best Hardware. Lofthouse. There's a keeper. Cuts inside and a good gain here for the Mustangs to start this one out. And that's enough for a first down. Mustangs first play gonna move the chains Here from Lofthouse. And if you're on the fence of refinancing, Academy Mortgage is a great place to go to make it smooth process. Rate's still low, hit him up there at Academy Mortgage. The loft house with a pass incomplete as it's going to hit the ground. We can't haul that one in. Probably a little low pass. Trying to get it back at the sideline again. That was thrown by a loft house. Preston Lofthouse still in shotgun here for the Mustangs. Two wideouts up at the top and a direct snap. Very quarterback keeper. Lofthouse. We'll carry it out to the left side. Tackled by Jones. Third and eight here for the Mustangs. 
State Bears ready for that run. Three wide outs at the bottom, two up at the top. Again, a loft house, looking to pass, gonna go along and incomplete. Loft house, it is a thrown, it'll bring up fourth down. And for the Mustangs, stopping the clock, 10-28. So again, another drive stall here for the Mustangs. Here to start out the third quarter. And wow, this is probably the best field position the Bears have had here in this game. As this ball is punted and goes out of bounds at about the 48. 47 yard line. Bears in business if they can hold back the defense from Mountain Crest. Just allowing way too many sacks. Puts it on the edge to Wallaby and Garrison Marble go up top for your wideouts. And off to Case Jones. Gets to the 30. Can't quite spin, but still it's going to take five guys to bring him down. But the Bears moving the ball here in the uh, third quarter. First possession for them. We'll take another look at it here on a CNR replay. It's a game with a big run. Same formation here for the Bears coming out on this one. Payne under center. Hand off to Udy. Udy's breaking through. Stays on his feet and he's down inside the five. Another CNR replay this time. Chance Udy busting through the line. Quick handoff. Mustang's not ready for that. Good blocking here by the line. Pushes the Bears deep. First and goal. Bear River knocking on the door here in the third quarter. Still on a scoreless ball game. Beauty in motion, that puts three wideouts up at the top. Quick handoff to you or to Case Jones, and there's that first touchdown of the ball game. And it's 9.09 in the third quarter. Took a whole half of football, but the Bears strike first. 6-0 with a run from Case Jones. Izzy Varela here for the extra point, and the Mustangs back in there quick, and it's still good. So the Bears lead with 9.09 here in the third. 7-0, we'll take a commercial break, and we'll be right back. Let Academy Mortgage help you get into the home of your dreams. Give them a call today. And welcome back to Mount Crest High School. Adjustment by the Bears gets them a score here in the third quarter. Filled it from the three, far side. Callister gonna get him by the shoelaces down at the 10. 
Beater tries to break that one far side. But again, Alec Callister wraps him up. They move it just above the 10, call it the 11. So first and 10 here for the Mustangs. They start out with two wide outs at the bottom, one up at the top. Lofthouse is passed, gets caught, a lot of room to move. It breaks one tackle, no, he slides down. Duddle with the catch and run, Case and Burn with the tackle. First set of downs here for the Mustangs. Because now we might have an offensive game now. After both offenses couldn't do nothing in the first half. This could be the turnaround for both teams. Two wideouts up top, one at the bottom. Lofthouse looks to run, nowhere to go. It's wrapped up by the Bears defense. And that'll be a loss of two on that play. Payton with a sack, I believe that's his second here in this game. Second and 12. Well, the clock's rolling at 7.50 here in the third quarter. Two wideouts at the bottom, one up at the top. Now Chris spreads him out. Lofthouse looks to pass. Another quick dump. Far near side. Came here with the catch again. Busting it down the field for the Mustangs. Getting them a fresh set of downs. Knocked out by Darian Jackson. Out of bounds at the 45. And now the Mustangs on the bare side of the field. Lofthouse with a quarterback draw is going to take a hit at the 40. Case and burn on the tackle, along with Darian Johnson. So, second and four now here for the Mustangs. Two White House go up top here for the Mustangs. Excuse me, three. Loft House and Shotgun here for the Mustangs. Rolls out to his left. And incomplete is Dorshak. He's coming and getting in his face. I'll stop the clock at 6.31 here in the third. Press break huddle. Ball on the 40. Lofthouse and shotgun. Send up a screen. And going to be knocked out at the 30 by Wilcox. Beater catches the screen pass. Gets the Mustangs another first down. Clock rolling almost at the six minute mark here in the third. Three wide outs up at the top. One at the bottom. And another run here by Lofthouse. Christensen wraps him up. And we helped out by number 57 as well. 
And that's not going to be quite enough for first down. They're going to be shy. It'll be second and one. Here for Mountain Crest. Hey, don't forget about the Bar TL dinners every month at the Pied Up. Until then, you can get your rip and dip on. Is there at the Pied Up? Not going to hand it off. And thrown and catch. Adam Keller with the catch and run. There's a. Another first down there for the Mustangs. Ball spot at the 21 yard line. This is the closest the Mustangs have gotten to scoring. So adjustments from both teams have got an offensive game now going here in the second half. Four and a half minutes left to go here in the third. Mustangs come out, three wide outs at the bottom. Lofthouse in shotgun. Looks right all the way and off the turf, incomplete. Case Jones on the coverage. Second and 10 for the Mustangs. 4.17 left to go in the third quarter. I'd like to thank Caldwell Banker, Two Guy Realtor, for being a great sponsor. Doing the in the zone touchdowns at home. 100 bucks in the pot, up to $1,300. Again, we'll host Skyview next week. Quickly to the line by the Mustangs. Loft House. Looking. And Christensen and Dorshak. And overthrown everybody in the end zone, but took a shot by Dorshak. And Christensen breathing down his neck. So that'll stop the clock of 4.08, bringing up third and 10 for the Mustangs. Mustangs have an injured player along the sideline. Lofthouse rolls out, here's a fire and a good catch as it'll give him a first down, but Jepson will keep him out of the end zone. Mace McBride with the catch here for the Mustangs, get him a first and goal. Looking to invest, you probably need somebody that knows a little bit about it. And a guy that knows a lot about it is Hootie Roach at Lincoln Financial. Hit him up if you're interested in investing as the Mountain Crest Mustangs come up in a bunch set. Hand off and nowhere to go as the Bears defense all over that one. Jones, Callister, and Byrne in there on that play. It'll be a second and goal here for the Mustangs and a timeout called. We'll take one with them and we'll be right back. It'll be second and goal for the Mustangs with 3.12 left in the third. In the mood for a burger and fries? Look no further than the grill. They have plenty of mouth-watering options for everyone. Stop by for lunch or dinner and complete the meal with a tasty dessert. For all your project needs, shop at Greer's Hardware, happily serving the community since 1976. 
Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Lincoln Financial specializes in estate, investment, and retirement planning, as well as business benefits. At Lincoln, they are totally impartial, comb through different options to create financial products a person needs. Lincoln Financial, big city service, small town care. And welcome back here to Mount Crest High School. Second goal here for the Mustangs as the defense come up with a big stop on first. One wide out up at the bottom of the screen. And Lofthouse going to throw to the back of the end zone, man, incomplete. McBride was the target overthrown by Lofthouse. It'll bring up third and goal now here for the Mustangs. Stop on the clock at 3.05. Mustangs break huddle. Here on third and goal, go back into the shotgun. Lofthouse looking right and picked off by the Bears. Riker Jepson will take that one and take points off the board for the Mustangs. Another CNR replay of that one. Lofthouse looks his right all the way, throwing in triple coverage. There for the Bears. So the Bears will take over. Ball stop, spotted at the seven yard line. First and ten for them. After the Mustangs drive, pretty much the full length of the field. And come up empty. Payne will be under center. One wide out up at the top of your screen. And off to Udy, and he's going to go nowhere. Mustangs all over that one. Hey, you can always go get your fix at Soda Fix. They also have hot chocolate for the winter months coming up. It's getting about that time. Also, sodas and treats. Two and a half minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Bears will break huddle, second and ten. High formation with two wide outs. One up at the top, one at the bottom, and Payne going to roll out. And oh, and a great catch over the 20 yard line. Wyatt Roberts with a great catch, giving the Bears a fresh set of downs at the 20 yard line. Why bringing down the sure catch? I don't know if he's in the list re injured or if they're just playing it safe. I haven't seen him in a while. But a one wide out of the bottom, and here's far side with Case Jones. He might get two yards on that play. It'll bring up second and eight here for the Bears. Time running out here in the third quarter. Bears on the lead, 7-0. They'll split the wideouts. Payne under center. Payne's going to stop. He's going to turn. A lot of field in front of him. Makes a guy miss kind of as he gets tripped up at a fresh set of downs. By Josh Payne, we'll take another CNR replay. Look at that one. And when you had an injured bear over on the far side. 
He gets tripped up right here. Again by Lee. Here for the Mustangs. He still probably could have got a lot more yardage. He probably could have broke past the 50 at least before he saw another guy. Trevin Toon, a little slow to get up, but he does, limps off the field. He's walking it off. I see him back here in the ball game. Because, man, with this Mount Crest defense, you sure need a good line. Trevin Toon doing a good job here in this one. One wide out up top. Josh Payne will hand it off to Case Jones and drags a player across the 50-yard line before he's taken down. Looks like he'll be a little bit short. It'll bring up... Second down. I think the Bears got to get one more playoff here before this quarter is over. 30 seconds left. One wide out, far side. Payne under center. Payne drops back. Looks over to Garrison Marble. And a flag comes at the end of this one. Look at the call here momentarily. Stops the clock at four seconds. As Marble goes up for that one. You could have a late, late hit on the Mustangs. Personal foul on a face mask. That will be against the Mustangs. And also another foul. And sportsmanlike conduct. And that's your, that's, so that's your late hit and a face mask. So a huge penalty going against the Mustangs and we'll start the march up the field. So both personal fouls, you get to accept both of them and you're gonna spot the ball <laughs> inside the red zone here for the Bears and time will expire. That's where your Bears will have it when we come back. 7-0, we'll have the fourth quarter when we come back here at Mount Crest High School. The Pie Dump is a big supporter of Your Bear Over Bears and loves to see students come into their shop. They even have a menu just for them. So swing on in before school or during lunch and enjoy the deliciousness they have to offer. Welcome back here to Bear River High School. Teams will make their way back out on the field here in the fourth quarter. 7-0, your ball game at the Bears knocking on the door. After two huge penalties against the Mustangs. Payne under center. Looking for the fade route. Nobody's over on that side of the ball. Kel Wilcox goes to the post. Instead of fading out to the right. So have that incomplete pass, it'll be a second down here for the Bears. I'd like to thank Cover Up for being a great sponsor. Berber Alive and Berber Athletics and Chance Udy breaking in it. Almost untouched for Chance Udy getting a touchdown for the Bears. Yeah. 
Another CNR replay. Let's take another look at Chance at UD. Finding the end zone for the Bears. Like it says, get touched once and he's in. PAT coming here for the Bears. They extend their lead 13-0. Payne with the hole, Izzy with the kick, it's up. It looks good from here, and it is. And the Bears lead 14-0. With 11.48 left to go here in the ball game. We'll take a commercial break and be back here at Mountain Crest High School. Even if it's been years since you graduated, your college team is your team for life. Well, you can have a Farm Bureau agent for life, and auto, and home, and business insurance. Imagine that. One insurance agent for everything. It's that simple. So get a Farm Bureau agent for life. Farm Bureau Life Insurance Company, Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company. Welcome back here to Mount Crest High School. And the Bears turn the interception into points. Interception by Riker Jepson. And the offense take it back the other way. And Izzy. Lee is hit as soon as he touches this one off the bounce. We'll take another look at that one as Izzy. That ball was straight up in the air. A lot of hang time on that one. So Mountaincrest will set up shop at the 15 yard line. Pretty much full quarter left to go. Last time out, the Mustangs drove it down the field but ended up throwing a pick. Two wide outs up top, or three up top, two at the bottom, a loft house looking to pass. Incomplete. And Marble trying to go for it. Payton again right up the middle. Chasing the loft house over to the far side. Rushing that pass a lot. Brings it up incomplete. Stop on the clock. Second and ten here for the Mustangs. Three wide outs up at the top, two at the bottom here for the Mustangs. All alone is Lofthouse in the backfield. Lofthouse and Payton again. Rushing that pass, but he gets it over to Jepson and Jones on the tackle. Gardner with the catch. And for the Mustangs, it's going to bring up third and six. After the gain of four catch. Again, all alone, Loft House in the backfield, three wide outs down, two up. Loft House getting some space down the sideline, and it's going to be broken up. Garrison Marble with the defensive play to break that one up. Going to Lefevre down the sideline. So fourth and six. Here for the Mustangs. Punny situation here for them as they're backed up deep. Low kick, Riker Jepson at the 50, gonna jump ahead. Looks like they'll give it to him at the 47. I'll move it back to the 48. And that's where the Bears will take over. 
Already with the lead, 10.39 left to go here in the ball game. It's still not too late to head over to the grill. Get you some grub. Dine in, take out. Again, great food there at the grill. Payne will go under center. Pitch it over to Case Jones, breaking some tackles. Takes a shot at the 40. Just shy of the 40 is where they'll mark him down. So it'll bring up second down here for the Bears. We'll go second and three. Here for the Bears now as the clock's rolling. Payne. Jones again. This time, it's to the 40. A flag comes in at the end of this one. We'll get the call. This one might be coming back for holding, and it is. Holding against the Bears. So we'll replay the down after they march it back. Now back to the Bears side of the field. Second and 15 here for the Bears. They come out with two wide outs up top, one at the bottom. Pistol look. Pain. He's got to get rid of it fast and can as the blitz gets to him. So another good defensive play by the Mustangs is going to back him up even a longer here for third down. We'll give him third and 23. Payne in shotgun. He's going to just take off and run with it. Looks like a gain of one here from this angle. To bring up fourth down, fourth and 22 here for the Bears. So if you missed the first half, it looked about just like that. But a couple adjustments at halftime bring the Bears two scores here in the third quarter. But the Bears gonna punt it away. Mustangs get another chance at it. Punts away clean. The Wallabies kick will bounce and not take a bear of a roll this time. Over to the far side, they'll down it. So first and ten for the Mustangs. Mustangs got it at the 34. 7.59 left to go here in the ball game. Mustangs down 14 to 0. Three wideouts at the bottom for the Mustangs. Two at the top, all alone. Again, is the Loft House. Loft House going to keep it and run. And Case and Burn again in the backfield. Going to wrap him up. We'll get that CNR replay in there for you now. In case of burn, showing off some speed, keeping the quarterback contained. And again, Academy Mortgage doing a great job 
can get you refinanced. Take care of your mortgage as well for you. Three wideouts up top, two at the bottom. Lofthouse looking to pass. Quick across. And Veter is swarmed by the Bears defense, but he makes the catch. Take another look at that one as the Bears almost being double covered. It still goes to him anyways. Good job by Veter to bring it down. Bringing up third and five here for the Mustangs. Three wideouts go to the top, two at the bottom, all alone. It's Loft House in the backfield. Derek Deans grab a hold of him and they bring him down. Dorshak there to finish him off. And another CNR replay. Now the Bears defense. Not letting the Mustangs get too far down the field. It'll bring up fourth down. And another punting situation here for the Mustangs. Punt gets away. Riker Jepsen fumbles it, but jumps right back on it. As that could have been scary. Here for the Bears. Bear River will have a penalty against them. Maybe it's the Bears going to take over at the 16 after the penalty is enforced. Didn't catch the penalty, but 5:36 left to go here in the ball game. Bears with the lead. They come out with two wideouts up top. Split backs. And off up middle. UD going to get wrapped up and stopped. Might have got one yard on that one. But the Bears just want to get this clock rolling and keep rolling. Two possession ball game. It will bring up second and nine. Payne under center with two wideouts, same formation as last time. Payne gonna pass. Dwallaby with a catch at the 50. And he's gonna try to outrun the Mustangs. And Lofthouse can't catch up to them. And Dwallaby. Throw and catch from Payne to Dwallaby. Off to the races. Bears extend their lead, 20 to zero. PAT coming your way. Again, Payne with the hole. Izzy with the kick, and that is up and in. Whatever hope the Mustangs held on to is almost gone here in a three score ball game with 440 left. We'll take a commercial break and be right back. One thing that I think is awesome about USU Brigham is how personal it is. I've loved small classes and I'm shocked how professors have got to know me to be able to save money, have school, three minutes away from my house has been awesome. 
I want to teach high school kids. I want to be involved with their lives and try to help them be the best that they can be. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm Hunter Morgan and I'm an Aggie. Kent's is your one-stop shop for fresh produce, bakery items, deli, and meat. Stop by today for fast, friendly service. And welcome back as the Bears get on the board again. Up 21-0. Here's a kick from Izzy. It's going to bounce high. Field at about the one-yard line. We're at the goal line. Gets a good block on the far side and knocked out. Lee returns this one. Here for the Mustangs, gets it to about the 20. So two wide outs up top, three wide outs at the bottom. All alone is Lofthouse. So a lot of things have got to happen right. Ball's in the air and Marble can't bring it in as it bounces off the turf. Incomplete. Stopping the clock at 4:28. Take another look at look at that one with your CNR replay. Same formation here for the Mustangs. Lofthouse looks left, looks right, now goes right. Bringing that in, but only for a gain of two. Beat over the catch, two yard gain. And that'll bring up third and eight. Quick back to the line is the Mustangs with three wideouts at the bottom, two at the top. There's a throw that goes out of bounds. I'm making a catch on the knees. Let's go, Chana. We'll take a see in our replay of that. Coach Hanna with a catch down the sideline. Again. From his knees. Fourth and eight for the Mustangs. They look like they got a punt. Another bad punt here for the Mustangs. It bounces to the 50, but takes a mountain crest roll. At about the 36 or 37. That's where the Bears will take over. With 3.39 left to go in the ball game with the lead, 21-0. Again, we'd like to thank the Valley Headliner for being a great sponsor. And for Bear Bear Athletics, keeping you up to date what's going on here in the Valley. Breaking news, sports, community news. All at brbnews.com. Everything holds up. The Bears get their first region win. After three straight should have wins. Here in this hard region and handoff. Derek Dean gets to the 45. Three minutes left to go as the Bears break huddle. Split white, split running backs. Dean with the carry again. This one's going to lose a yard. The Bears just want to keep this one rolling. The clock that is. 
As we're under three minutes now left to go here in this one. And off, and the ball's loose. The ball's still loose, but jumping on it. At about the 45. It's going to be tuned back into the game. Still keeps the clock going as it's fourth down. See how Wise wants to end this one. Looks like he'll run this clock all the way down and then take a timeout. You see him right there by the ref. And a timeout call by the Bears. Stop it at a 134, 21-0 your ball game. When we come back, we'll have the conclusion of this one. Bears in the lead, 21-0. Be right back. The Teal Mill is a local shop that has a wide variety of tumblers, bags, and custom hats. No matter the outing, they have the perfect product for every occasion. This season, the Teal Mill is Bear River Lives in the bag sponsor, helping to wrap up the coverage of each game. The Pie Dump is a big supporter of your Bear River Bears and loves to see students come into their shop. They even have a menu just for them. So swing on in before school or during lunch and enjoy the deliciousness they have to offer. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. Bears going to go for it just to keep the clock going as Payne will keep it. And a yard short, Mountain Crest will take over. Well, the mid judge calls it a first down. Very generous spot here for the Bears, but we'll take it. And now one minute left to go. 21-0 at the minute mark here in the fourth quarter. Again, next up for the Bears will be Skyview at home. If you can't make it to that one, we'll have you covered right here at Bear River Live. Timeout called by Bear River just to stop the clock at 42 and a half seconds. We'll keep it here and we'll put this one here in the bag as there's no chance for a comeback here from the Mustangs. Started out with nothing in the first half, but coming out at a halftime, you had Case Jones scoring the first touchdown early in the third. Mountain Crest drives it probably from the 20 all the way back down, but I think the pivotal moment in the game was the interception by number six, Jepson. Riker Jepson with the interception, and big penalties pushes the Bears ahead and they get their second touchdown with Chance Udy and then a big throw and catch from Josh Payne to Dwallaby. We'll get the third touchdown here for the Bears and a win 21-0 here in Mountain Crest. I believe this is Wise's first win and Derek Dean with a huge run getting the first down for the Bears. There is a flag on the play. This one might be coming back. Again, we like to thank the tail mill for being a great sponsor, putting this one in the bag, and it's going against the Bears as everybody backs up. So it wipes away a great run by Derek Dean. Clock at 30. Wise's first win here at Mountain Crest. Well, 
Last play of the ball game will be a knee by Josh Payne and the Bears. We get the first region win here at Mountain Crest High School. I believe this is Coach Wise's first win against the Mustangs. So like I said, first region win here for the Bears against the Mustangs, 21-0. It took a whole half of a game to get somebody on the board. But the Bears scored the first one and didn't look back. Players of the game tonight, I'm going to say Chance Udy for the defensive interception. Or, excuse me, I reverse. They both play both sides of the ball. Riker Jefferson getting the interception again. I think that's the turning point in the game because the Mustangs, after the Bears score coming out of the halftime, Mustangs pushed it all the way down the field. And, and, and I mean, was matching the Bears' intensity pound for pound all the way down the field and then like it says just knocking the wind out of the cells for the Mustangs is the interception by Riker Jepson. He'll get a soda fix coupon and again Chance Udy running harder on the ground here for the offensive side. Again, thanks to Soda Fix for being our player of the game sponsor, and we'd like to thank all our sponsors right here on your screen. We'd like to thank the Pied Up, BRV News, the Valley Headliner, Teal Mill, thanks for wrapping that one up for us. Bags of all sizes, again, go to thetealmill.com, find them on Facebook. They got a wide variety to fit your lifestyle. Utah State University, both Brigham City and Tremont campuses, trying to make it as easy as they can to get you not only to be an Aggie, but to get the education that you want. Cobble Banker will have in the zone touchdowns next week at home. Andy Marcher Photography, cover up. A great sponsor helping us out. Covering our faces with a custom mask if you need screen printing or embroidery needs. Cover up right there on Main Street in Tremont or Brigham City. We'll get you going. Tanglewood Studios, again, your halftime performance. You'll have one next week. Greer's do it best hardware. Academy Mortgage to the Grill. Old West Game Processing. Kent's Market again. Case Lot Sell. Get in there and stock up. Lincoln Financial. Farm Bureau Insurance. Chen Share Farms. And again, our replay sponsors, CNR Trailer Sales. We'll have Lady Bears Volleyball for you next week. Two games from them. And then you'll have Berber Football hosting the number one team in 4A, the Skyview Bobcats. Your final here at Mountain Crest, Bear River 21, Mountain Crest 0. You have been watching Bear River Live.